part of, of the book is to talk about all that that's beneath, beneath the surface that you're not aware of that has a great influence on your behavior. Yo. Get up, ma'am. Come on, man. We gotta get up. We have tons of stuff to do. I told you I'm tired! So that's how I wake up in the morning. I'm babysitting. I have a five-year-old, an eight-year-old, and a 14-year-old. Well, I thought I was babysitting, but it turns out it's permanent. But I kind of like the title babysitting. Sorry I did that at the same time as the title. That was probably... People probably don't do that. Anyway, you already met the 14-year-old. You know, he's grumpy in the morning, but as the day goes on, he's also really grumpy. Bring me some coffee! Ah, dude! Come on! He totally sabotaged... Oh, um... I'm recording the voiceover. This isn't part of the movie. So, you don't have to... You suck at everything! <sighs> okay, so... I work from home, and it's been really hard... Translation, I'm unemployed. It's been really... You don't even play the guitar. Shut up. Bring me some coffee. How about you shut up, please? I work from home. It's been really hard to How get... How about we go back to sleep, and later you make me a delicious breakfast, fat ass? I don't think I'm fat. So what we're going to do now is we're going to go to the five-year-old. So... You're doing milk first? Yeah. And he's awesome. What? How? Why are you making it that way? I wish I could still eat this stuff. You can. If you want it. It's really good. It is really good. That DJ's play before they do like the really loud part? Yeah, man. I'll do that. Where are you? Do you or want some to like cool music like brown, brown, brown. I know it sounds messed up. Yeah? But I wish I could just keep the five year old and get rid of the other two. Okay, that wasn't even a voiceover. That's the sort of thing where it's dialogue from the next scene that overlaps, so. You have to be smart to make a film. Dude, you're messing up the scene. We're going to a therapy scene. Everybody, this is a therapy scene. Up, We're going to the I therapy scene. The five-year-old and get rid of the other two. Oh, well, hey, I'm a therapist idiot in a horrible an movie. Trauma My patient at an is a blonde-haired moron. Brain My patient smells like a dumpster and looks like a gargoyle. That. So you drug yourself, oh, you poor you. do anything, you, you self-medicate to listen to people. for that blah, reason. Blah, it's pointless, blah. it's not going to do anything, okay? He's angry. Me. Shut the fuck up! Don't try to match him when he's being a shitty little interrupting asshole, okay? His brain can't process it. Whoa, 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 okay, uh, so we're talking about a lot of uncomfortable stuff, and I want to move on to stuff that's cool. What? Like nougat. What the hell is nougat, right? Sometimes there's too much nougat, like Milky Way, no, 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 no. But Snickers has the perfect amount of nougat. So I want to ask you in therapy, what do you think is in nougat? I don't know what's in nougat. Are we talking about that? You okay? Yeah. We haven't talked about the eight-year-old. Is he still struggling? You know what, I don't even want to go in that room because it's just, he's so, oh, what about those YouTube videos where what hawks eat small dogs? Like, what think the about fuck How often does that happen that people are catching it on tape all the time? People, or are people letting crazy. their dogs around hawks? You have to pick up toothpaste? And I'm thinking, what if we get some potato chips? Okay, I'll get potato chips. We haven't talked about the eight-year-old. Is he still struggling? You know what, I don't really want to go in that room. Mrs. Gand. 
Um, she was a teacher with large breasts. Patrick, why are you telling me this? Uh, I wasn't talking to you. I wasn't talking to you. Patrick, you and I are the only two people in this film. Um, like, you can get me some drops that are like... I was supposed to be just a baby. Whoa, but check these out. Beach day. No, I have... No. Okay, Biggie versus Tupac. No, I have to do this. And this time, this Biggie skinny, Stop. Tupac's fat. Stop. Let's hear it. That there's people in the world that would do that to an eight year old, like an eight year old kid. Actually, I was seven. I was seven. I was about to turn eight. It was a first confession, first communion class. Um, and then he took me to a confessional, and, you know, and at that point I realized that it, it was real because I think I was like trying to write it off as a dream when it was happening, and I could when it was happening, but at that point, I knew it was real. And I knew it was real the next day, I think, too, because I was super, I was just filled with shame. I was just in my room by myself. I mean, I, ha I was, I had blood, you know? There was like blood in my jeans that I washed out by myself. Okay, as your therapist, I think we should move on from that because it's weird and uncomfortable and nobody wants to talk about stuff like that. All the trains have all your friends on them. Hey! Hey! Just what the fuck are we talking about? <laughs> I was a lovable little kid. You know we love you, right? Wow, what a horrible movie.